I have for a very long time been uh, an advocate of people choosing the very best treatment for longevity. And the medical community has been very, very concentrated and focused on preventing heart disease because it's the number one killer of men and women, in our country at least. Um, so that we know this is really a, a good-hearted attempt to truly help people, but I don't think it's necessarily the right direction. The newest guidelines on statin drugs, well, I thought they were used too much before. <laughs> well, the newest guidelines are, and this makes sense, if someone has a high cholesterol level, they probably need to knock that down some, meaning if your total cholesterol is over 250 or 300, you probably need to do something about it. If it's over 400, you probably need to take medication. Natural treatments probably aren't going to work, at least not for very long. And that's something that you need to think about. The new guidelines say, and I'm going to be very precise, that if you have diabetes, you need to be on a statin drug. If you have any kind of heart disease that's a circulatory problem, you should be on um, the uh, statin drugs. If your LDL, which is your low density lipoprotein, I say lousy density lipoprotein, so you can remember that's the LDL, it's lousy to have a high level. If it's over 190, you should be on a statin drug. And this is the killer, this is the part that just drives me crazy. Anyone with an LDL cholesterol from 70 to 189, that's virtually everybody who has a risk in the next 10 years, that's more than 7% of having heart disease, should be on one. That means everybody. I mean, if you have a 7% risk of heart disease, who doesn't have a 7% risk? That's just crazy. So basically, diabetes, heart disease, high, high, high levels of LDL, or anybody else who's alive. <laughs> Which is crazy. Statin is not, statin drugs are not grapes or apples. They're a strong drug. And there's great evidence now that exercise is almost exactly equivalent to drug therapy for heart disease prevention. The problem with statin drugs, a huge study out of California showed that 40% of women who took statin drugs couldn't exercise anymore, that their exercise tolerance went away. So the statin drug reduced the other option for heart disease treatment to the point where they couldn't function. I think we'll find over the next, I don't know, 10 or 15 years that statin drugs have lots more negative effects than we've been talking about. And even though they've been shown to cause some benefit in prevention of heart disease, I think the risks might be way higher than anybody guesses. So natural treatment for high cholesterol and for risk of cardiovascular disease is something you should strongly consider. Exercise absolutely has been shown to work. Statin drugs make that less likely to be available. We'll talk about this a little bit more, some practical tips, dosing, stuff like that in the next video.